Today's goal, replace the water line that's coming in from the city at the house. Uh, so all the plumbing downstairs um, is all half inch copper and I want to convert that to three quarter inch PEX. So all of the, the main line coming in from the city connecting to the water lines down in the basement, I want it to be three quarter inch and then convert all of the trunk lines to three quarter inch and then branch off from the trunk as half inch to go to the various connections like the sink and the toilet and stuff like that. So I'm gonna head down to the, um, the street, turn off the water um, at the city connection and then head back upstairs or head back up drain the lines and start the work. And it looks like there's a pumpkin growing, well, pumpkin vines growing out here, and it's right in my way. Try to see if I can not disturb it. Be cool to have a pumpkin grow out here. All right, I was able to turn that off. I wasn't able to film. It's kind of positioned awkwardly, the, the valve that you use this little tool to turn. So I think I got it all the way turned off. Let's head upstairs, or <laughs> let's head up the driveway and see if we can drain the water lines. Hi, chick, 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 chicks. All right, turn the water on to the outside hose. I'm not sure it's turned off all the way. I didn't turn it off all the way. I just went back, tightened it even more. And now, we have no flow. So let's get to work. All right, got all my supplies in there. Let's drive down to the back side or the north side, the north side of the house. Let's get to work. I think this is the lowest drain that I have. So I'm gonna drain it from here also. Um, there'll still be some water that comes out from where the main connects just because that, I think that is the lowest, lowest point. In previous video, I showed that the copper plumbing is being used as some ground, and if I, when I cut this out, it's going to uh, disrupt that ground. So I'm going to put four gauge copper wire between two sections of this pipe that I'm going to be cutting out, so the ground continues. So when I'm all done with this project, the existing copper line is going to stay intact until I can put in a permanent grounding rod or two. But I still haven't talked to an electrician, so for now, this stuff is staying put.
what we have so far. I hope you can hear me. So main water line is coming in here. This is half inch. I can't get back there yet. So it's gonna convert from half inch to three quarter inch here. So this will attach to this once I cut it. Um, so I'll cut it about right here. That means that this pipe will no longer be used. So it'll go up this pipe, three quarter inch. Here's a ball valve to turn the water line on or off if I need to. Goes up, here's the water pressure regulator valve. I need to adjust this for the correct pressure for the water. And then it comes up here to a 90 degree where it then runs over where it's going to connect down to the water heater and then continue over as half inch to the rest of the house. So eventually the, all of the main trunk lines of the house will be this three quarter inch but for now this is the best I can do. Ooh, that's a bright light. All right, it is the next morning. Um, I had to go into town to get a new pipe cutter because my other one I left outside and they're rusted, wasn't cutting well, so I got a new pipe cutter. Let's see if we can get this project done. I really just want this project done. This is coming from the hot water heater, now going to the rest of the house. And I forgot that I was gonna be making this cut right here. So I only had one brass clamp for the ground. So I kind of had to improvise a little bit here. I'll get the correct one at the store next time I'm there, but that'll have to work for now. So hot water heaters hooked up, the flow is on. Here's how to turn it off if I need to. That's the flow to the hot water heater. All right, let's go do the main. All right, now that I have the PEX lines going from where the main comes in to the water heater to the rest of the house, it's time to go turn on the water at the road. Um, so I'm gonna have Katie come down here and observe while I turn it on, just in case. We're gonna have some walkie talkies that we can talk to each other back and forth, just in case. And I have the, the valve in the off position over there, so the only leak, if it's gonna leak right now, is gonna be right there where it connects into uh, the main coming into the house. Are you ready? Yes. I'm gonna turn on like 20%. Okay, nothing so far. It's on 50%. Okay, still no water. I'm gonna go all the way open. Still all dry in here. Okay, we are 100% open. Okay. So we just tested turning on the water line from the main, from the street, coming in to make sure that this bottom going from half inch copper to three quarter pecs was working. So far there's been no leaks, we're at 100%. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna probably start testing the pressure regulator and making sure there's no leaks on any of the other work that Nate has been doing. But I'm gonna go meet him and chat with him for a little bit, so we'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the water to the house. And water should come out the hose because it's open. Okay.
I hear it flowing. It's coming. Let me know when all the air bubbles start happening and ending. Air bubbles have already started. I'm just watching for leaks down here. It sounds like most of the air bubbles are done. Okay, go ahead and turn the hose off. Yep, I heard you turn it off. Can you turn it back on? Hose is back on. Okay, turn it off. Hose is off. All right, now I'm gonna watch for leaks down here as the pressure builds. I think we're good. Okay, can I turn the hose back on to off the dog dish? Yep, let me know when it's back off. Okay, turning on now. Cool, that was success. Now I have to adjust the pressure and I think we'll be good to go. Good. Oh yeah, look at that, That's how dirty that is. Yep. All right, show me. So what I did is I, the, I was washing algae out. So I thought at first it was just me cleaning but the, the bucket's clean. Hang on. So let's get... So I cleaned the algae out. And it starts, it starts clear. At least this is what happened the last two times. It started clear. And then after a while, I got about halfway to filling the bucket and then it started turning brown. Twice now. So we'll see if now it's clean or if now it starts. Maybe dump it out one, yeah. Watch yeah, out. Winston. Move, Winston. Yeah. It's not as bad that time. That's good. Here you go, buddy. Oh, they were thirsty. Yes, they were very thirsty. It doesn't look like it's improved the water flow, does it? Oh, I think so. Yeah? I think this is way better. Okay. But, no, well, I think it's better. I don't know if it's way better, but it's better. Because it was filling this bucket up a lot quicker than it used to. But the, it running brown was weird. Yeah. That was like a good two times. Yeah. Maybe it was just flushing out some Maybe. dirty stuff in, in the, yeah, who knows? Who because it was clear and then it started turning brown and then it went clear again. Yeah, it looks better now. Water proofs. Mm -hmm. Hey, thirsty buddy. So according to Google, the pressure on the house should be between 45 and 55, and it looks like we're right at 55. Sweet. I think this project's done. On to the next. I would say that is a huge improvement.